All right, I have the lie measured out. I'm making two batches. I have the essential oils, my recipe. I have the water ready. I have my temperature gun ready. <clears throat> Stick blender, two crock pots. And this is liquid soap making. I am using a blend of coconut and olive oil. And that is what is heating right now. Over here I have the liquid soap water mixture. It is cloudy because of the ingredients that I have in it, which helps to thicken the soap and hold bubbles because I would like to use this bubble this as a bubbly soap to blow bubbles when, um, when it's all done. So I added a couple extra ingredients. This is boiling because it needs to be hot. It needs to be really hot when I add it. The soap is pretty much going to be done cooking and it needs to blend and incorporate pretty much instantly, you'll see, so keep watching. Here we are at the water, it has boiled, it came to a rolling boil. I was watching it carefully because with these ingredients it can start to froth and boil over, but you can see it's much more clear now. It has better clarity, which means we may get a clear soap. So I've turned off the heat, and I'm going to cover the pot. My internal temperature at the surface is 179, so I'm good to start mixing my lye. I have not mixed it yet. until it is clear. This water also has a couple of ingredients in it. It may not turn completely clear and it may discolor to a light tan depending on how hot it gets. Right now it's about the same temperature as the oils. Okay, let's do that again, just in case. You didn't see it the first time, I'm doing two batches. Just stirring until most of that froth is gone so that I can see the clarity. When that frothing ends, it's pretty much clear and time to add it to the oils. Yes, the ingredients are turning it a light sunshine yellow. Okay, we're gonna add the lye. 
to the oils. I'm going to stir and then I'm going to use my stick blender to get it really well emulsified. And it should happen pretty quick because there is coconut oil in this recipe. Sunshiny yellow. I safely poured the lye into the mixture off camera. And now we'll begin to bring it to emulsification. Check on the first batch. It was in a false trace, and this is what happens. So I'm going to keep mixing this right away. Both of them.
lots of olive oil in here. like it is cooking. <laughs> the coconut oil. It wants to be a volcano. Let's 
nuke your heart like this. So right now it's really thick and we're waiting for it to turn jelly-like, kind of like this on the stick. And then I'll zap test it and it's almost there. It's practically going to change right before our very eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit of the oil early, I mean the water, early. That just made it a little whitish. Just because it's so hard to stir. <laughs> see it is all turning finally turning it into this jelly stage that's what we're looking for Now, just a reminder, this is not a tutorial type video. There's no recipe attached here to this video, and I don't give out proper proportions and everything, but I did use a gram scale. I used a really good scale to measure everything out. Everything is very well um, calculated, so don't try this if you don't know what you're doing. Liquid soap is a little different. You're using potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide. And here I've got the one that's a little more advanced. And uh, it is breaking up. It has become solid. And it's just going to dilute in that water. It'll break up. It is olive oil color. And it's beautiful. So after this is all dissolved and broken up and cooled down, the final step is to add the essential oils. I don't do it until the final step because I don't want to waste any essential oils to evaporation. So I wait until it's room temperature perfectly okay with soap, liquid soap, to wait or leave it unscented until you use it and then add a couple drops to your favorite essential oil. For, for a volcano, it turned out really nice. It's going to be great soap. 
Okay, this is after the volcano. It went from not emulsified to mashed potatoes. And uh, it is otherwise. The remaining portion is gelin. And I think my trouble is I didn't turn down the crock pot. But this is looking good, and I'm ready to zap test. Neutral. So what I'm going to do is while it's still mushy like this, I'm going to add part of my water in the recipe and blend it in. This is the soap that I had water watered down a little bit beforehand and it is still very cloudy but I'm I'm uh, using the stick blender. So before it gelled I had added just a little water because it really got pretty soft. <laughs> So